But yes, I did try putting Smarties Cubes on a cat's leg. It didn't work. I was very sad. We are gonna get the RSP. Well, what I didn't. I, I, she was lying quite happily, and I, just, I thought, uh, and when it wouldn't go down, I thought, oh, all right, fair enough. I didn't force it and break a couple of toes. Break your cat's foot? No, no. no you wouldn't do that. I was considerate. Hey. In my mind. Did you cat buckaroo? Uh, I played human buckaroo. <laughs> human buckaroo is amazing. Buckaroo's worth it just for the grumpy look on the face. Yeah. That might be. The... What are you to me? Exactly. Alright, I've come out in the top right. I think it's on the left again. Okay. Bottom left. Yeah. Good. Hmm, what else? What else? This hasn't been too bad so far, has it? That's been alright. I'm just trying to think of what can we talk about. What's been going on since May? Is that when you last recorded? Yeah. Wow, that's quite a lot of time. May, what's happened? Uh, you just started back, started back at a new college? Started back. I, had I left college? I think I probably had. No, no, I hadn't then. I think I was, for some reason, still in college. No, no, I wasn't. It's, it's confusing. I was in college, now I'm in a new college, and... Are you enjoying it? I don't know this, I might as well ask now. I've only yeah, done two days. I've only done two days, and I was late for the second day. So I've slept. But, I discovered the best excuse in the world. Which is? If you're late, say, on the first few days of a new place, it's sort of a faux pas to be late. It's bad form. But... Definitely. The foibles of public transport are good. So as I was going along, I was thinking, oh, what can I say? Bus? Something like that. And as I was going along, there was a broken down bus in a lay-by. That is the best excuse in the world. The bus broke down. And the guy that was showing me to the room, oh, it's typical, isn't it? It's a sort of, it's a human condition. It builds up. It's so good. Remember that one. The bus broke down. I can't really use that one. My university is literally five minutes out the road. Well, sucks to be you. Yeah. I think my excuse is, um, what can I use as an excuse? Uh, I live with girls. Yeah. That's the excuse. I'm at Sabrina. Ah, yes! Alright. Oh, Who should I send up first? I don't know what she sends up first. It's probably either an app or a camera. So. I'll put out my right to you first. Let's see what happens. He was pretty good against move. Kadabra. Oh, fair enough. What move? Yup. Yeah. Uh, oh, I haven't given him. Um, oh, bugger. I haven't. I've Break. already gone into the attack. I haven't given him the. Was it? Brick break, break. Yeah. I remember buying that and I didn't put it in. She had a vision of my arrival, apparently. Oh. Uh, had a... It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. Mmm. I just like battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Sorry, my mouth just filled with saliva then. Eh. Oh, yeah. We, should we talk about my second Retsu Prey ing? I, I haven't seen your Retsu Prey. You haven't seen any of them? No, I just, well, I saw the first 10 minutes and I thought these blokes are cops, so I turned off. Well, that's well, that's all, how long they are. It's 10 minutes. No, like the first two minutes, in fact. Okay, well, alright, first off, it's, um, it's voices, British, Pokemon, and then they just don't care about me, and then they just go off on talk about something else and just JRPGs and blah blah Pokemon blah but like I said I can't go on otherwise it, it sounds bitter and I think I got off lightly fair enough it's, it's got quite... me, it's got me loads of loads more subscribers so fair. awesome I know I, one of the things I do hate is because I talk about a few American people online and they say the British accent well, there's no such thing as a British yeah. accent. 
it's, it's, got English accent. I like Regal Grub Grub's, um, that it just seems xenophobic. There's a little bit. I mean, like, because the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland is obviously the United Kingdom, you know, the United Kingdom being uh, England, Wales and Scotland and Northern Ireland. So there's obviously four accents there. I mean, if you count the British Isles, so you've got then you've got the Northern and Irish um, and Republic of Ireland accents. Uh, Gibraltar. And then Gibraltar. And um, I think, you know, and then like, even if you look at, you know, like, you've got the Cornish accent, then the Dorset accent, and then mine your accents, and then there's like, at least, four, at least four Northern accents. Venom and Moth, what should I send out? Um, fire, or flying. Alright, I've already got fire. I'll leave it to that. But apart from that, it just seems alright. Also, they have no sense of uh, sarcasm and irony. A few Americans have a sense of sarcasm and irony. And it always seems... Look, maybe, maybe, that's, maybe that's xenophobia on our part. I've, I've, no, I've got nothing against Americans in general. All the, all the Americans I've met have been very lovely people. I've met the Except, I've um, met one guy. The security guard I met in the Empire State Building was brilliantly racist. You know, as in was he? scarily racist. Just as in, oh, you're mental. I'm worried about you. About 9/11 and you know racial epithets against um, against anyone oh. from anywhere Middle Eastern. No, oh, oh great, because obviously they're all terrorists. Yeah. It's the sort of thing that you're talking to, and you, you, you're laughing at him, and he's going, you know, and you're right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're mental. <laughs> you're a dickhead. Hey, hey, hey. cheers for the that, dickhead. America's fantastic, they have the greatest range of cereal in the world, they have fantastic drinks, they have fantastically cheap food on every street corner, especially New York. Oh, I'm, I'm a bit peckish. Oh, look, there's a hot dog vendor, brilliant. I had a dog in Birmingham the other day. Is it nice? It was one pound eighty. Uh. Sort of gives you a yeah exactly. It sort of gives you an indicator of how uh, it's really nice actually. I mean it's got a, a reputation. I don't know. Oh you know, it's Birmingham. It's lovely there. I really enjoyed myself. Birmingham it's fitting. Yes, yeah, lovely. Hmm. I think we should, I'll take you with me. Oh, I think I'm going to Birmingham in a couple of weeks. Well, tell me, because it's only three quid for me to get there. Well, let's go into the MPH um, car show. The, um... Oh, Christ. NEC? Or the NIA? Uh, NEC. I saw the darkness there. Hmm. Yep. Were you were you misguided? Have you uh, seen the error of your ways? Look, Matt. Any back fight with Lee Singer comes out on a giant floating pair of breasts gets my vote as good band. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yep. Can't really argue. <laughs> no, giant pair of breasts is amazing. It's like Queen's. Um, the opening of one of their their shows was this giant mouth with a giant fluorescent pink cock flying into it. That's awesome. Cock and balls, it was, that's the greatest way to open, um, I think. Also, when I was in London, I, we were walking around and we found, um, there was a gay bar, which is one of the things where you go, is that a gay bar? All right, yes it is. And it had amazing pink fluff, a big pink fluffing moustache. All the way through, <laughs> about five of them from the outside because you know the front opened and yeah. amazing. So you went to the gay bar. We didn't go into it. We were, we we're looking around for food. All oh, right. See, there's a gay bar near me. I haven't been to Rainbow. a gay bar. I'd like to go to. I'd like to go to a gay bar. I'm just afraid that I'd get picked up on. That, that the people would be like, "Oh, who are you? You're out right, from? Oh, I'm not gay. What are you doing in a gay bar?" here for the crack. Get out. So I'm sure that, but, you know. It's a it's a worry, but I'm sure that yeah. it's not that. Just, hey, I'm out in a gay bar. Woohoo! 
having yeah. a good time. Yeah. Well, that... most all the gay people I know are absolutely incredibly lovely. Like, what if you went to a lesbian bar? Is there a, is that frowned upon? I don't think there's a dis- I don't think there's a distinction. Gays and lesbians go to the. Do they? Do gays and lesbians go to the same bars? I don't know. I think this one looked predominantly male. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, she's saying this loss, sh- this loss shocked shocked me, but a loss is a loss. I'm choking as well. <coughs> I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. Blah blah blah. Your victory has earned you the March badge and awesome. four thousand three hundred thingy credits. 